Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Bolt White. In the last part we finished off the uh, Curem event in Giant Chasm and then we came over here to the Undella Bay and battled all but one of the trainers. This one being the one that we didn't get. So we're going to fight this person and then we're going to head to the section that I'm not in the least bit interested in actually doing because it's it's just a maze so Kleister, hi Kleister can be taken out with a fighting type move fairly easily yeah so uh, the Bissell Road is, is annoying say the least. Which is why I'm going to be using a walkthrough type thing to uh, to do it. To get through it because I don't want to deal with it. Really? I don't want to deal with it. So I'm just going to cheat my way through it. I've got a map. I've got a map for it up. And uh, I'm going to take advantage of that. Liberally actually gonna switch because that's a lantern and it's gonna cause problems. Um to <coughs> to Arthur, I guess. That'll work. Good old outrage. <laughs> yes, yes. Hydro pump more. Wouldn't have caused that much trouble, I suppose. If that had hit me. Outrage! Oh, by the way, I gave uh, I gave a bunch of my Pokemon um, PP ups. I had about five in total, including uh, Arthur. Arthur now has more PP on his Outrage attack. More Outrage! Blah. Well, that was fun and easy. Who do we have next? Blastoise. Let's switch to someone with an electric or grass type attack. Banther. No, I don't want to use Banther for everything. I'll just use Hybasa again. Fine type attacks work. <laughs> Probably should have used some PP ups on close combat actually. Which is annoying. So, Shell Smash. Well, I'm definitely going to be able to take it out next turn then. Definitely. Although, it might. Out Blastoise may outspeed me and hit me hard. Or it could outspeed me and Shell Smash again, I guess. That works. Okay, sure. Sure. Beat. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Right. Hey, Busa. Yay. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Now, let's find out. Can Remoraid learn Flash? Can Remoraid learn Flash? Because I need it for this. Damn it, I can't, it, it can't learn Flash. In fact, the only one that can learn Flash is, is Muscles. Do I have a TM for Steel Wing or something? Steel Wing TM? Uh, or Roost? I have Roost TM. I think I have Roost TM. Well, that sucks. Looks like I'm going back to get another Pokemon that can learn Flash and has a uh, <laughs> has a move that I can reteach it. See you guys in a little bit. Hey everybody, I'm back, and now let's uh, head down, shall we? So, for the Abyssal Ruins. 
The Abyssal Ruins is a massive maze full of treasure. However, I'm going to be making one run of it first time, which is only going to be which is going to be a uh, a perfect run, so to speak. So, we're heading in from the west. So we need to go east up east up Ooh. Ugh. Unpleasant. Uh, to the second eastern opening. And then south all the way. And east, north, east. This block will only move if you make a beeline to the uh, sorry. this this block will only um, will only open if you make a beeline to the center that is the fastest path and it's a route to the second floor so now we head up to the second floor and we are there so let's ooh. Let's take, once again, the quickest route around to the next floor, which should be around here. No, I went the wrong way. Hopefully that doesn't, that won't cost me. It shouldn't, though. So, around here. Ooh, there's warning number two. <laughs> yeah. Now we head down here and around here. You have got to be kidding me. Damn car alarm. Now, this block will move if you use... Uh, if you use Flash while next to it. That's not what I was trying to do. Pokemon. I taught Marilyn Flash for this one reason. I replaced energy ball because I got a TM of that. So this block will, will move with, when you use flash on it. And now you can use either of these um, openings here are routes up to the third floor. Now let's head around to the next block should be here. This block says that you need to use strength next to it. This block will move if you use strength next to it. Quite how an Embor is, is using strength underwater, I don't know. But hey, doesn't matter. And now, now we have the fourth floor, which contains one thing which is the Relic Crown. That is the perfect run of the uh, of the Abyssal Ruins. And now I'm heading back down because I want to grab some of the treasures in this ruin, in this uh, ruin, floor three, before, uh, before I am, before I'm kicked out. So you only get 500 steps in uh, in the Relic Castle before you're kicked out. Relic Vase. And Relic Statue. Yep, yeah, there's, there's the 500. And thus, <laughs> I'm kicked out. There's, uh, so that's, that's the general gist of the Abyssal Ruins. Now I'm going to be going through them at super super fast speed, collecting everything. You'll thank me for this, because there's a lot of crap down there.
Now I'm actually going to move to a different area now. Did my rep ah. I'm actually going to move to a different entrance. So. Go away, man -tike. I'm not interested in dealing with you right now. I'm kind of busy doing my least favourite thing in the entire bloody game. See you guys in a bit. Finally, stripped this place clean. We have the, st the stone plate, the insect plate, the mine plate, the toxic plate, the earth plate, the sky plate, the fist plate, the meadow plate, the icicle plate, the spooky plate, the zap plate, the iron plate, the flame plate, and the dread plate. All of the plates um, are items that increase the, the uh, power of type, of, of uh, moves of certain type. You know, there's no water type no dr and no dragon type plate here. That's because we should have got them on uh, Route 13. So I believe we already have them. I believe. And uh, these, anything with the, with the word relic in front of it, will, um, you can sell to the, uh, the guy in the, the resort for a very, very, very large amount of money. So without further ado, let us do that, shall we? We'll just head back to Andela Town. Finally. Finally. And, uh... uh oh, sorry about that. We'll just head back to Andela Town and hand in all this junk, shall we? I mean, it's not junk, but it is annoying to gather. So let's just sell this stuff to this guy. Relic crown. 300,000? Yes, I will sell it. 300,000 money. So basically this guy will, s will buy every single one of these relic things for a very, very large amount of money. So there's a hundred thousand for each relic band. Um, uh, Fifty thousand for each relic vase. Uh, let's see... 250? Nope. 200,000 for each relic statue. And... 100,000? Yeah, 100,000. 
No. 10,000 for each relic gold. And I think it's 50... Uh, it's 5,000 for each relic silver. And, uh... 2,000 for each relic copper. In total... This, this, this totals over 2 million Poké Dollars. Oh, 1,000. So, I'm just going to sell all of these right now, because I don't need them. They don't do anything aside from be good money fountains. For uh, yeah, aside from uh, allowing me to get a huge, huge amount of money from this guy. <laughs> thousand. So, I don't actually need to show all of this, so I'm actually going to cut the video here. This is probably going to be a long one, long video, no matter how much, uh, how much speeding up I do. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody.